so hello guys welcome again i hope you guys are all good you guys are doing great for myself i'm doing good okay so today i want to discuss about some few things about uh, turkey as uh, some of you know i am a student in turkey though i have a remote job too but i am a student basically in turkey so today i want to talk about the good things i like for myself about turkey so let's get it to start we have a uh, in turkey there is a low living cost because things are not expensive things are quite affordable for example if we talk about food compared to other countries even compared to my country cameroon okay food is less expensive in turkey than it is in cameroon so if you come to turkey to buy food that you will cook yourself it's not expensive even when you go to a restaurant it's not expensive okay so that's one of the things i really really like about turkey and you know being a student and things i'll just say it here since i'm doing sport too so it's very important for me to eat a lot so and it i don't feel it in my pockets for food because it's not expensive also the second thing is that turkey is a really really beautiful country so i've been here for one and a half years almost two years already i've visited some places i've been to ankara uh passing through kojaili but i want to say i want to say this turkey is really really beautiful okay we have beautiful malls okay beautiful natural parks so if you come to turkey if, uh, maybe as a student or for tourism it is the place to be okay so it's you can compare turkey to uh places like thailand and all the stuff you know what i mean you feel me right so it's really really a nice country if you want to come just for a visit just for a tour okay very very i recommend it if you want okay so the third thing is that you will see over the internet uh, over tiktok and all the stuff that people people are not good racist and all the stuff but i'll me for myself i'll tell you the contrary because uh since i've been in turkey most of the people i've met i've met really really nice people and i'll tell you a short story when I arrived in Turkey as a student, I didn't have a place to live. It's a Turkish guy who took me in. So I let I stayed with that Turkish guy for close to one year with that Turkish guy. Okay, we were living in the same house, in the same apartment together, and we almost had no problems. Okay, it was very nice. The guy, even sometimes he will cook for me when I will come back from school. I will see food is ready. Okay, if he comes back that I'm sleeping, he will wake me up to ask me if I've eaten today, that day. So they are really, really nice people. Even at the gym, uh, when I went to the gym, since I'm a beginner, most of the people who helped me in the gym, they are Turkish, they are Turkish people. Really, really nice people. So do not uh, look at things what uh, which people are just saying all over the internet okay i know for myself i've not experienced some uh, bad things with turkish people okay though just small inconveniences or small disagreements that uh, i've encountered but i will say eight people out of ten in turkey are really really nice people for me for myself i want to emphasize on that for myself really really nice people okay so now uh for people who are interested in business okay uh as i said i'm a student i also have a remote job but also i try to do business i'll say okay i'm a little entrepreneur okay so people who want to do business in turkey if you're a student or even if you came for tourism okay so business in turkey is really easy concerning merchandise you you can find almost everything which you want here in turkey concerning merchandise okay and uh cargos there are cargos everywhere in turkey so it's not a problem so for the taxis 
when the, the standard taxes here in Turkey, they are 20%, which is not bad comparing to some other countries, uh, comparing to my country too. So you can grow, you can easily grow your business here in Turkey and do some good networking because you will meet other people. There are firms over Facebook, WhatsApp chats where you can find people who also do business. Okay, so you can be a student and do a remote job or also do your own business. That's uh, if you want. Okay, so it's very important. So there's also this thing. Okay, I'm sure you've seen it across maybe uh, TikTok and all the stuff. Turkish people, the love tea. Okay, the love tea. There are so, so many varieties of tea in Turkey. You can just, uh, for example, uh, when I wake up, Okay, if I decide to go out, maybe on my way to school, okay, I can just stop at the coffee shop nearby and I'll drink tea in the morning. And one of the things, okay, which is really funny is that Turkish people, they drink tea all over the day, like in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. It doesn't matter if it is 50 degrees or 30 degrees or zero degrees, okay, it doesn't matter. The temperature doesn't matter or the weather doesn't matter, okay, so they drink tea all over the day so do not be uh shocked when uh during the midday 1 p.m you see someone drinking hot tea here in turkey it's just normal okay so people really really like tea so also one of the things uh i really like about istanbul is that istanbul is the only place on planet earth which is on two continents okay so istanbul is divided into two one part is on the European path and uh, on the European continent and the other part is on the Asian continent, okay? So, and there is this, uh, there is this river, like, dividing both of them, okay? Uh, and it's very, very nice at night. If you visit it, it's very, very nice at night. And also, you can really feel that they are on, that Istanbul is on different continents because the climate sometimes in the European side is different from the climate in the Asian side, okay? Most of the time, the, the, the temperature in the Asian sides are lower than the temperatures in the uh, European side. So, also, I would like to say, if you come to Turkey, uh, you can take this, okay, into consideration. For example, concerning the temperatures, if you want to live in the Asian side or in the European side, you know what you, you have to face, okay? You need to dress properly concerning the cold and all the stuff. But except from that, all good, okay? So now, uh, this point, uh, it's addressed to people, to uh, may, mostly uh, Christian people, okay? So you know in the Bible that you know the story of Noah, okay? So, Noah's Ark landed in Turkey, okay, on the mountain of Man Ararat, okay. So, uh, concerning biblical things, okay, it's, uh, Turkey is really nice. Also, for Muslims, uh, the, there are many, so many mosques, okay. Around the place I live, okay, not far from maybe 200 meters away, there are at least four to five mosques. So, if you're Muslim, you can never say, okay, you could not have a place to pray if you or you wanted to go to the mosque. No, okay. In Turkey, there are so, so many mosques, okay. And you're welcome, okay, to go to them, to visit them, even. Not only to pray, because you can go and visit mosque in Turkey. It's really, really good, okay. So, also, I would like to talk about touristic sites, okay. So, as everybody knows, okay, it's all over the internet that Turkey is a really nice place for tourism, okay, which I myself, I want to do. I want to visit many places in uh, Turkey, okay. There's, uh, there's, some pla there's this place called Cappadocia. I would like to visit it someday when I'll have time, okay. Antalya with the beach during summer with the apps, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? So, yeah, so as a touristic place, it's really nice. Istanbul too, very, very nice places, nice buildings, okay, the demographic, everything, good, good. So, if you like to visit for tourism, okay, cool, okay, it's really nice. So, now, uh, one of the things I like most is food, 
Okay, so we're gonna talk about Turkish food. Turkish food is one of the best food I've ever eaten in my life. Okay, oh, okay, but I'm not going to say it's better than my home country's food, but Turkish food, really nice. There's this soup called chorba. Okay, really nice. You can add chicken in it. The rice, how to do rice is really good. I've, there's this rice they, they do. It's white. Okay, it's white and it's, it's shiny. It's really, really, it tastes good. The first time they served it to me, I thought uh, they was just giving me like white rice just to eat it like that. But I tasted it really, really good food. Okay, so in Turkey, if you're a fan of food like me, okay, there are many, many places where you can buy food and at really affordable prices here in Turkey. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, okay, Turkey is good for business. So you can easily, easily grow your business in Turkey. Of course, growing a business is not easy. So you must put in the hard work, but in Turkey, all the conditions are made for it to be easy for you if you want to grow up your business here in Turkey, okay? And one, the last thing, okay, we're going to talk about today is about scholarships, okay? So, for people who want to come to Turkey to, for studies, okay, there are easy scholarships to come to Turkey, especially uh, from Cameroon, my home country, there's this scholarship called... Uh, Okay, which is a scholarship from the Turkish government. It's easy, okay, you just need the required documents, okay, the required grades. And you, I'm sure most of people I know who did it, had it, okay. So these are the things I like about Turkey, okay. Let me know if you're in Turkey and you want to discuss about something. Do not forget to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. Okay, see you, take care, have a blessed weekend.